In this unique and mind-stimulating geometry puzzle, we've got this isosceles triangle ABC, and it's got these two equal sides AB and AC. We know this angle up here is 108 degrees, and this side BC down here is 10. And we need to find the area of this triangle ABC. So if you want to try this on your own, now is the time to pause the video, because I'm starting to solve it right now without using any of the trick formulas whatsoever. First of all, we know this is an isosceles triangle, so it's pretty clear that these two angles both measure 36 degrees. I'll draw this line here, such that this angle over here is 36 degrees too. We've created another isosceles triangle here, in which these two sides are equal, and we'll call them x. And naturally, this distance down here is going to be 10 minus x. Now, let's take a look at this triangle. These two interior angles and the third angle alpha must add up to 180 degrees. So it's no big deal to conclude that alpha is 72 degrees. Obviously, this triangle is an isosceles triangle, so these two sides must be equal, and this distance AC must also be 10 minus x. We already know that AB and AC are equal, so it turns out AB is 10 minus x as well. Now, these two angles must add up to 180 degrees, so this angle over here has to be 108 degrees. By the way, let's put this point here and let's name it D. Now, this triangle DBA is similar to this triangle ABC, and we know that because they both have this 108 degree angle, and this 36 degree angle, and there is also this other 36 degree angle, which is a common angle. And we can express the similarity like this, from which we can deduce this ratio, AB over BC equals DB over AB. Let's cross multiply that, and we get this equation. We already know that AB is 10 minus X, DB is X, and CB is 10. So let's plug all those values into our equation like this. We can expand the square of the quantity 10 minus x like this. And let's take this 10x and move it over here where it becomes minus 10x. We now have this quadratic equation which looks tricky to solve. And I know what you're thinking, the infamous quadratic equation formula. But no, I got another trick. I'll simply add 125 to both sides. And we've got this new equation. And now we can factorize this side, and it equals the square of the quantity x minus 15. Next, we take the square root of both sides, and the result is x minus 15 equals minus plus 5 times root 5, which means x is either 15 plus 5 times root 5, or 15 minus 5 times root 5. Now, if we take a look at this side bc, it becomes clear that x must be smaller than 10 and 15 plus 5 times root 5 is obviously larger than 10. So we rule out this value, and we are left with x equals 15 minus 5 times the square root of 5. Let's tuck away this super important finding up here, and let's go to this side and change this x to 15 minus 5 times root 5. Let's do the math, and we get this value for the side AB. We no longer need all this stuff, so let's wipe them out. We know ABC is an isosceles triangle. So when we draw this height here, it divides this side into two equal parts, and each part is pi. Now we've got a super cool right triangle over here, and that means it's time for the Pythagorean theorem, which states that in a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the shorter sides equals the square of the longest side. The shorter sides of our triangle are 5 and h, and the long side is 5 times the square root of 5 minus 5. So let's take the squares of all those distances like this. And when we calculate the squares, we get this equation. Next, we cancel out the 25s on each side, and we take the square root of everything on both sides. This side becomes simply h, and on this side we can factorize the expression inside the larger square root sign by taking out 25. And when we move this 25 out of the square root sign, it becomes 5. And it turns out the height of the triangle ABC is this horrid square root expression that I don't want to read out right now. The good news is we know the height, and we also know the base is 10, and now my son will find the triangle's area. Son, I hope these numbers are not too hard for you. Can you do this? Yes, because you taught me how to do it. The area of a triangle equals its base times its height. Divided by 2, right? Yes, this triangle's base is 10, so B becomes 10, and the height is this very hard square root number, so h becomes that number. 10 times 5 is 50, 
and 50 divided by 2 is 25. And you told me to leave alone the square root. Yes, because you would need a calculator for that. So there we are, people. We found the area of the triangle ABC. And it's 25 times the square root of the quantity 5 minus 2 times root 5. I never do calculations beyond this point, but one of my viewers asked me to find the decimal number, and what my viewers want is important to me. So only for this time, I'm going to calculate the answer in decimals. And it's 18.16356, rounded to 5 decimals. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you push the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. There are many super cool math problems I want to show you in the future, and trust me, you don't want to miss them. Have a good day, and see you soon.